<laughs> Melissa. <Bye>. Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's going to be a lot of people in that same boat. <laughs> I, I've been getting all these things on. We're looking at going to uh, Alaska and doing a passage cruise. But that was way before all this came up. Right. So just because I had an interest in cruises, now I'm getting a crap load of stuff on <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> hey, come cruise with us. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Me and my healthcare team. <laughs> yeah, cruise ship is just an like, easy way to get stranded. There's a lot that are out at sea right now that are much troublesome. Yeah. And if even one person has a theater, none of them can go ashore if they get I'm never going to go on a cruise in my life. So you're not missing anything. I'll tell you, I've been in Florida for a while. It was kind of sucked, actually. And, and they know that we're big, bad Americans, so they just get good at you everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You check, in your, you check in your credit card when you go in, and then they can charge you ad lib. So you go to booze all over the town, and you're like, oh yeah, that Mai Tai looks good. $20 later. For one, for one my time? Yeah. But you checked in your credit card at the front. But they throw all this food at you all the time thinking that, oh, you won't care. You know, as long as you're fat and sassy, you're not going to care how much food costs. They say that the only cruises are the ones that are in Europe that go on the big rivers and stuff like that. And then the Alaska cruise, if you get a smaller one, but like, Carnival sucks. It's like Carnival is like Kmart, man. Kmart for cruising. I thought in the last couple of years, all she really liked. I don't know what company it was. Probably that Holland, Holland, Alaska. My parents did that, that one too. They did Holland. I don't know what they did. I knew they did the Alaska cruise. I don't know. There's a Cohen and he was stressing for weeks about booking a surprise, like 50th birthday cruise trip on the Rhine River for his wife. That was going to be in two months, so now he's canceling it. Surprise cancel as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andrea sold him on it. So. Making like a great and a big list like this. Have you seen like my graduation from nursing school, a trip on the Danube River? Oh, yeah. It was great. I loved it. Everyone there was more like her age, and all the staff was my age. And I got along really well with the staff, and everyone there was like, oh, you're just so sweet. You're coming with your grandma. I'm like, my grandma's cool. Like, oh, you're behind the line. Dancing with the crew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I was carrying a watermelon. Awesome. What part of Canada? We went to Revelstoke and Picking Horse, which are like near Bam. Yeah, Picking Horse Easter. is in the Rockies. Oh, cool. So it's like way, it's like almost in, um, damn it, what's it called? Wherever Calgary is. Alberta. Alberta. Oh, okay. That little tiny section of Idaho, a little north of that. <laughs> oh, now I know. <laughs> exactly. When we came back, we came from the Idaho. You drove there? You drove you go there? Yeah. So we went out to like Vancouver, Canada. But we came down to Idaho, and there's like, you know, we're the only car at the border crossing. Wow, they don't ask us any questions. Is that right? Well, 
left and right. On the way out there, they were really curious. They seen more guns, ever on guns. We had any guns. Oh, you're running guns to Canada? Yeah. <laughs> See, my place is a pain in the butt to come over to, because there's, like, no guns. Yeah, we're really Yeah, we were both, like, we both are she working. She did, like, a year of God. Yeah. Yeah. He goes to bed early, too. That's her life. Oh. Yeah. He said, they're, they're like, like, crossing the border, and I was, like, dry, I don't want driving, so they're asking me the question. Even though I stay out of my first plane, like, oh, he's crushed. my husband, and they all know each other from. <laughs> you don't know this Polish girl. I know you're good at something. How do you know each other again? They said it again. He's like, I can't pull. So how do you know her? And I'm like, oh. How tired I am. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I went to the Philippines right after 9 11. Right after 9 11. There was nobody there. And then on the way back, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think anything of it. And on the way back, um, I, I went, the island I was on was it's called Cebu. And I was born there. That's where I was born. And so I had a t-shirt on that said Cebu born. It said Cebu born. So I'm walking in, coming back in, in from Canada, Canada to US. And the customs agent's going, hey, Cebu born, huh? I'm like, yeah, Cebu born. And I completely forgot I had the shirt on. I completely forgot. And he's like, no, I don't know. He was, he was just looking at my passport. I'm like, how do you know that? It must be on the passport. I didn't even know I was on the shirt. And he's like, oh, but you're, but you're American now? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much American. Grew up here all my life. Like Portland, Portland, Oregon. Okay. What? <laughs> but he kept asking this question, and I didn't know why, why he was asking. But it was because of the shirt. Is that the gambling room in the back? I think it is gambling. What happened to Sheena? Was she on our weekend? She was, but I don't know. We don't always have people well, together. I mean, she has kids though. I wonder if she got into a bind, but. Them having, yeah, but it's I mean, it is weekend, yeah. My most interrogation ever gotten for coming back from Italy a few years ago. Yeah, something happened with his work. And they're like, oh, go back to America. What do you do there? I'm a doctor. They did not believe that. <laughs> <laughs> And it was like 20 questions. Your like, answer is student. That's your you, answer. What did you went to med school? <laughs> yeah. did you graduate? Really? They went what, down. What profession? What hospital do you work at? Yeah. Like my friends are like way past security, just waiting on me. My worst like international security thing ever was when they decided to check my bag for like plants and animals. Oh wow. And they didn't like find anything, but it was like an hour and a half wait. Yeah. I'm like, yep, still waiting for your bag. Still waiting for your bag. It was like, I'm really glad I have a really long layover. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I definitely be missing my flight right now. I remember I was with a bunch of friends and we went to, and I, I don't know why I did this, it was at, at uh, Tijuana. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. I was into this story. No, 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 no. It was, but for some reason, I don't know why, I did not bring my ID with me. I left it in the car. Yes. And so when I went... You were that guy. Uh, I was that guy, yeah. yes. So yeah. we're there. I could not enjoy any time that I was there because the whole time I'm like, how am I going to get back? How am I going to get back? Everyone I was with was white. I was the only guy. <laughs> it's always like, oh my God, oh my God, what's going to happen? We get there on the way back. And nothing happens. They don't ask any questions or anything. And I was like, this is too easy. 
<laughs> this is too easy. What the heck? <laughs> When I was at the airport, uh, it, was, it wasn't even after 9-11, it was, this was like after 2006, but they still had those restrictions about liquid. I had gel in a big container like this, it was a big, yeah, it was like a $30 bottle, and they says, we can't have you bring this like that, you need to leave it or you have to bring it back. I was like, what the hell am I going to do? I can't just put it all on my <laughs> all on my hair. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to use all this gel. I don't care what you say. This is just my coffee. Two bags of coffee from Belize. I'm like, what the hell? What do you think I'm going to do with coffee? It's not even... Liquid. And they said, no, you can't have more than eight ounces of coffee. Right, right. I said, who the hell ever has only eight ounces of coffee? Dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. They don't sell it that way. They don't even sell it that way. Well, that was probably all after that shoe bomber type thing, right? Oh, this last December? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that was after that. Uh... <laughs>